It's a Holiday Core RGB Dumb RF controller. Um, it features a standard 12 volt input. It can run from 12 through 24 volts, typically used with 12 volts. We have three knobs in here for red, green, and blue, and then we have four outputs, common positive, and then the red, green, and blue. This is some dumb RGB lights. In this particular case, we have nodes, and this will work with strips, modules, and the like. Now, it also has a remote that we'll talk about in just a second. This is RF, so there is no infrared on the end here, so if this is mounted into an enclosure, you can, or in a non-line-of-sight uh, direction it can be used for that. Now uh, these knobs allow you to dial in the exact output you need for every single color. So for example if we just need very low amounts of blue you can see that we can adjust for exactly the amount of blue. So for example if you need a very low white we could adjust for just a low version of white just the way we'd like it. Now, also, if you need a specific color of white, you can do for that also. So here, if we need, uh, let's say, a more greener, we can pull that in. If we'd like to take the green out, this is a more purple white, or we can take a more blue white. So those can all be adjusted. Now, the controller also has functions built in. Now, the functions on the remote do not allow you to change the individual controllers. What it does is it allows you to change modes of built-in sequences within the controller. There are 37 possible modes. Uh, so what we can do is we can use the mode button to simply select those modes. Now, the, one of the modes is this hardware-controlled manual knob system. So that's the first mode. So let's go up to the next mode. And you can see this is the mode here in the far left digit. And then we have the speed and then the brightness. Now, in this particular case, we're just running red. So there is no motion or uh, animation in this light. So those do not change. So for example, if we change the speed, you can see that it makes no difference. Uh, now, if we change the brightness here, you can see that we have 16 levels of brightness. So this does allow you in some ways to set the color, but only within the pre-configured uh, modes. Now let's go through some of these modes. So that's mode two, that's red static. There is, oh, I'm sorry here, what, ooh, went the wrong direction here. Uh, three is static blue. I'm sorry, static green. Four is static blue. Five is static yellow. Six is static purple, static meaning that it does not change, cyan on seven, and white on eight. Now nine is red, green, blue, just going through there. Now here we'll show you the speed function. So I'm, gonna, I'm going to reduce this speed. You can see it's changing between all the colors. So if I change it down, you can see that it's changing very slowly now. I can then reduce the brightness, increase the brightness, increase the speed. So if I increase this again, then you'll start changing faster. Okay, so we're going to continue on through the modes. That's uh, red, green, blue. Uh, three colors. This is seven colors of... Um, it's rolling through seven different colors. Here's white strobing. So it's just blinking on and off. Here's red, green, blue blinking. And let's see, this is mode 13, so we have seven colors of strobing. Then we have white speed up strobe, so kind of have uh, it slowly and then it starts blinking faster and faster. This, we have red fade. Now, of course, again, you can change the speed of this. So it's very fast right now. You can see it's rolling through them very quickly. And now it's much slower this up again. All right, let's continue on through that. So that's red fading, green fading, blue fading, yellow fading, purple fading, cyan fading, white fading, red, green, blue fading. So it's going to cycle through red, then green, then blue, but in a fading fashion. And now we're going to have red, green, smooth. So this is red and green, so holiday colors. Here's red and blue. Maybe you have a patriotic type item. Green to blue. Red to yellow. Let's go 
pick up the speed there. So you can see it's changing between them. I mean, it's color mixing in between. Okay, now we have green to cyan. Now we have blue to purple. Okay, now we have red to purple. Now we have green to yellow. Blue to cyan. These are smooth transitions again. Now we have red to white, like Valentine's Day, for example. Green to white. Blue to white. Yellow, uh, purple, then cyan. And this is all colors here that's going to switch between all the different colors just constantly. And now it's just going to cycle through all the different possible modes. This is item number 30, uh, mode number 37. And then it flips back around to this. Now, one caution note here that when we do turn the power off, it will not return to, uh, in this particular mode, the settings. So if we turn off the power and turn on the power, it will not return to those modes in most cases. In this case, it has. So it should not be dependent upon where you may need to remove the power, apply it, and then have it do the exact same thing again in the future.